前はもう死んでいる。Hey, how's it going, church? Welcome back to Common Grounds. This is our weekly、uh, just debrief of the last sermon. Pastor Joe gave the sermon on Jonah chapter 2, and he's got a couple of questions that he asked the small groups to get together and just think through stuff like that. Yeah. So I thought we'd hear what Pastor Joe has to say. I might answer some of these questions, but here's the first one that I thought was、uh, the question that's like super fun if you're gathered around in home, sitting in a circle, talking about the discussion questions. Pastor Joe writes The book of Jonah is a short book full of events, and some of the craziest parts of Jonah happen in the water. So, Pastor Joe, share with me and this video audience、uh, the craziest story. You have that has to do with being in water, whether that's the pool, the ocean,、yeah. the lake, pond, photo. That's a fun question, man. Yeah, I feel like I have many stories with, with the water.、Um, most recently, last year, we went to Florida and I was in the ocean, and I clearly I wear glasses and I wore them so I could see the water, I could experience God's creation, but I could also enjoy the time with my children and make sure that they weren't drowning themselves. Well, huge me, I'm, I'm sitting in the water, so I already looked awful as it was, but this wave came and it, it took me underneath the water, and here, six foot three, I don't know how much I weigh. Joe is rolling along the shore, and the water takes my glasses off my face and carries them out into the ocean. And by chance, I had a pair of glasses in my bag that we flew down with.、Um, That's a relief. But yeah,、um, and I think when Jen and I first got married, we went there, we went to Florida for our anniversary or our honeymoon. And I got stung by a jellyfish. First time being in the ocean, I got stung by a jellyfish. And I asked Jen to pee on it, and she wouldn't. So, <laughs> did you I get anyone to, to pee on it? Or no, I suffered.、Uh, I just suffered.、Uh, what about you, Mitch? Do you have any stories of the water from being in Hawaii? So, there's this one beach that I、uh, really enjoy going to, my favorite beach called Makapu.、Mm. Um, when I first went there, I thought I was a really good swimmer, and I I guess I wasn't at the level that Makapu expects you to be at. So, and we went on a rough day because we were very cocky. We were very prideful. We thought, oh, I can surf. I can catch these waves. And the waves were so big that、mm. at one point I thought, okay, I got this. I got this. And I definitely didn't got this. I、mm. definitely didn't have it. And I was drowning. I didn't want to admit it, but I was、mm. drowning. And then when I finally did admit it to myself, I started panicking. The, the undertow got me, so I was being dragged down. <laughs> Every time I came up from air, A new giant wave just smashed me、uh, yeah. to the ground. And then,、uh, crazy fun ending of this story, or at least for me personally, I realized, oh, I'm going to die. That's okay, then I'm going to heaven, I'm going to be with Jesus. And that's when I was like, wait, Jesus can save me right now. So I prayed, <laughs> and I swear, as much as I was struggling as far away from the shore that I was,、mm-hmm. I swear once I prayed, I could feel my、wow. feet on the sand. You know how you expressed、yeah. last week that you like, have more control? So, I was like, I wasn't even trying to swim. I was just trying to like book it through the <laughs> sand and try and get out of there. So, and that's not、yeah. my favorite beach of all time. Afterwards, I trained up and yeah, yeah. I'm scared to go home now and swim、mm-hmm. in that body of water because it's probably way stronger than I am. All right, so、uh, here's another question that Pastor Joe came up with.、Uh, it's a whole paragraph of words, so I'm just going、mm-hmm. to sum it up in my own words. That when Jonah was in the fish, He kind of blamed everyone but himself. He blamed the、uh, sailors, the mariners, and he chose not to focus on his own sin and to repent, but he used these kind of like, what was, the, what was the way that you described it? Generic or? He、um, generalized it, he, he blamed them. It was a non genuine type repentance. It was、yeah. a I'm sorry, but type thing. Right, right. And it sounded like it was reluctant. Yeah. And just, yeah. you're repeating the words that you know will get you out of trouble. Right. Not the right. actual sentiment of your heart.、Um, yeah, and then you challenge the group to talk about how to repent or what you've repented of. So I thought、yeah. it'd be cool if we talked about what we currently need to repent of or what we have repented of to maybe、right. show everybody that we're not perfect. Or, yeah. you know, pastors、yeah. are probably more screw up than most. Right. I, I, I would say I find myself repenting. The most when it comes to my wife and my children.、Um, so there's plenty of times where 
I mess up as a dad. Um, and I would say last night was one of them. Leanne had softball practice, and I'm trying to be my dad and how he was as a coach to me and my siblings and do that to her because he was so good at it and he taught us all how to do it but he wasn't like soft he was rough with how he coached so he would yell at us and he would tell us to do this and to do that and we just took it and we were fine with it um, but my daughter doesn't take it so well. So I'm standing on the sideline last night just yelling at her to go cover third base when the ball is hit. Um, and then I get up when she doesn't do what I asked her to do. I get up and then I go over to the field and I start moving her to where she should be so I could show her. And to me, in my mind, that's what my dad did to me. He would pick me up and then place me where I needed to be and then say, now do that. And it was fine for me, but it's embarrassing for her. And that's because I, I'm not in her all of the time. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know how she works. I don't know how all of her personality will react to certain things. So I feel like as a parent, it's always this, um, you try this and you try that, but we have to be open to repent. So there was this time last night before she went to bed where she was honest with me of how I made her feel. Um, and I was honest with her and that I didn't mean it and that I was sorry um, for causing her anxiety or her stress. And that's, I feel like that's a safe thing, but to be honest, those are where I struggle the most is in those situations or struggle, and I shared this on Sunday, or struggles with, with Jenna when we fight. And I'm not right probably all of the time. Probably I'm not right 90% of the time. Um, so I have plenty of times where I have to say, you know, I'm sorry. Uh, and it's not a blanket, I'm sorry in general, but it's a, I'm sorry that I was a jerk. I'm sorry that I was mean. I'm sorry that I overreacted or I said things that I shouldn't have said. Um, it's just being genuine and, right. and being able to trust that other person that when you say, I'm sorry that I was mean to you or I said something awful to you, um, that they're going to believe you and they're going to take it and they're going to say, yeah, I understand. Sure, yeah. I don't want to just hijack your yeah. answer and make it my no. own, but like I know with Rachel, she'll come to me sometimes with questions and the truth is, if I like think about it and, and actually have a repentant heart, the truth is I feel incompetent with some of those questions. Mm -hmm. So she, like, random example I can think of, um, we wanted to get Marceline on a birth, uh, not birth schedule, uh, sleeping schedule. Mm. Try and get her like more accustomed to like, this is when you sleep, this is when you eat, this is when yeah. you do this and that. So she asked me my opinion. I don't have an opinion on that. I don't know how to raise a baby. I'm figuring it out. So in my incompetence, which I didn't realize, I was just frustrated and angry that I, I didn't, I don't know. I don't mm -hmm. have an opinion. I don't know what the right answer is. So instead of just admitting that, I had to lash out and be like, you know, whatever, I cho you choose. And you right. know, it's hard to imagine me being mean to Rachel or Rachel, I don't know. Yeah. I know that I was mean. Maybe it didn't come off that way. I know in my heart I shouldn't have mm -hmm. been so quick to just dismiss the question. And then later on I went up to her. I had to humble myself and be like, I don't know what I'm doing. Right. And instead of just coming to terms with that, you know, I'm sorry. Like, like you said, specific apology, yeah. recognizing. I know with God it's the same way with fear. Mm -hmm. I get afraid of like, what's the future look like? Are we making the right choice? I think that's something that right. we all struggle with of are we doing the thing that will matter in the future or that will last or yeah. that is in God's will. And the fear sometimes grips me and I have to surrender that fear to God and say like, all right, I forgot, you're in control, I trust you. Right. Okay, I forgot, you know what's best, even if that means I have to suffer or it's not what I yeah. want, yeah, so. You know, and I think that that's what um, gets me with Jonah is that trying to look back at him and seeing if he was genuine with his apologies, would he have been vomited out? If he was genuine, mm -hmm and owned his stuff, would all of this have taken place? Yeah. But too often we get put in those bad situations because we're unwilling to own it, because we're unwilling right. to say, I messed up. Right, right. And then it's so easy to just sit in. I wonder how long he just sat there in the belly. Like three <laughs> days, obviously, he sat there yeah. that long. But I wonder how, how easy it is to just sit in your toxicity and mm -hmm. your filth and your uh, dead-end thinkings, your pitfalls, and until you repent like right. Jared, you know clearly reluctantly did yeah um cool yeah i hope you guys like the style of us talking like this maybe next time we'll um 
walk we, into Wakeman's when they're closed and go yeah, there? We, we did go to Wakeman's. Their cold brew is on point. So um, make sure you check them out. Yeah. They're, they're pretty cool. They were very cool with that opening transition part of us filming them. So Yeah. Hopefully I already drank my cold brew yeah. on the way here. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, uh, yeah. next week, maybe Sarah will join us. Maybe I won't be here. Maybe yeah. we'll, I don't know. We'll see. We're still experimenting. And if you have any thoughts, please maybe, let us know. Maybe we'll be at district conference. Maybe we'll be at district conference. We'll film somewhere north of Albany. Yeah. Or as everybody else outside of New York says, Albany. Yeah. <laughs> That's how they pronounce it. <laughs> All right. Church, hope this is beneficial to you. Hope you're growing closer to God the same way that we are. Yeah. Closer to each other the same way that we are. And that you're really benefiting from the book of Jonah. We have three Sundays left. And next Sunday, this coming Sunday, uh, Jonah's sermon was short. So my sermon will be short. Yeah. And we have other cool little gimmicks going on in that sermon too. That I think is from the Holy Spirit. The one yeah. that he's taught me. Yeah. yeah. Let us know if you have any questions. We'd love to answer them. Have a good day, church. Thank you.